In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to add a new site to a WordPress multi-site network. As you can see, we're starting off in the network administration dashboard, so you'll need to be there as well. If you have sufficient access and you're logged into at least one of your WordPress websites, you can use the admin bar. Uh, you can see up the top, if you hover over, there's the network admin dropdown, and you can go straight to the dashboard there, or you can go into sites, which is where we're going to work from today. Here we can see a list of the current sites we've got. We've only got one right now, uh, which is just the, the main site, which is on our primary domain. So what I'm gonna do is click on add new. And the first thing we have to do here is choose the site address. Uh, you can choose anything you like, something that's related to your website. It's obviously a really good thing to choose. So just because this is a demonstration, it's not a site that I'm actually using uh, on the internet for any specific purpose other than demonstration. Uh, I'm just gonna call it site one. And then we just choose the site title. So we'll call this our music blog site one. And for the admin email, you just put in whatever you want and then click on add site. And so the site has been added. What you can do now is visit the dashboard and I'll just change the screen size here. And you can see the link actually goes through to site one and then WP admin. Uh, similarly, you can obviously go to that link and just go to site one, so no admin, and you can see that it's the new site. And there you go. That's also a really good way to tell uh, what site is what, is that you'll get this default post where it actually says that it's the, or part of a network rather than anything else straight away. And naturally you can repeat this process as many times as you need for as many sites as you'd like to have. Uh, it's a really great way to spin out new sites really quickly uh, whenever you need to. Uh, but that's where we're going to wrap this video up for now anyway. If you have any questions about what we've done uh, or the process of adding a new site to a multi-site setup, please feel free to ask in the comments below.